Hello, thank you for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I'm your host, Daniel Kay. Now, the more eagle-eyed amongst you may notice that I have switched back to using my iPhone to record these because it's just simpler. Trust me on this. Uh, this is for the weekend of January 2nd through 4th, 2015. Simplify, simplify, that's one of my resolutions for the new year. Uh, as you know, January is uh, the time when the studios dump their movies into the marketplace. You know, they got to amortize them somehow. Maybe they thought they were going to be big, but it turns out they're not going to be. This is the time when those movies come out, which is why in the top ten there's only one new movie. That new movie is The Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death. Not starring that Harry Potter kid, Daniel Radcliffe. I couldn't remember his name during the other several takes. Uh, it's from Relativity Pictures that made $15.0 million. <clears throat> Coming in at number one, by the way, The Hobbit, Battle of Five Armies. I understand there may actually be six armies in there. I don't know. Uh, $21.7 million uh, in its third week. Um, it's pulled down $220 million so far. Number two, Into the Woods in its second week. I happened to see that myself. I liked it. My date hated it. I think most people are going to hate it. Um, $18.7 million coming at number three. Unbroken uh, from Universal at uh, $18.16 million. Bucks. Pretty good for Unbroken. Pretty good for Oscar mongering. Money isn't always made under those circumstances. All right, so coming down to the very bottom of the chart. You can't see it, but it's right there. Uh, Pioneer from Magnolia Pictures at number 79, all the way down at the bottom. Pioneer made 128 bucks on one screen. Uh, coming in at number 73, this one's brand new. It's also from Magnolia. Rec 4, Apocalypse. Made uh, $708, which is great. Except it made it on five screens, which actually means 142 per screen, which is not so great. Well, that's it. That's all of your box office report. I can't really see any reason to give you any more. Thank you very much for watching. Come on back again next week. Perhaps it'll be interesting then. And maybe I'll finally be back to the, uh, the Nikon. I don't know. No guarantees. Never guarantees.